How are we doing today, guys? Alex Tracy here with SBU. Uh, as we come up to the spring and summer, we get more football players talking to us about what things should they be doing in their 5-10-5, try to get the best times they can when they go to their combines and their camps. So today we're going to give you two pretty simple tips on how to make your 5-10-5 the best it can be. Um, the first one's just going to be in your stance. Okay? Some people in their stance, they'll kind of get their butt up, they'll round their back, they won't be in a terribly athletic position because all they're doing is understanding they hear that, hey, my hands have to be on the ground. So they put their hands on the ground instead of thinking this is an opportunity for me to get in an athletic position. So push your butt down and back, get in an explosive position, make sure your back is flat, get in a well-loaded position so you can explode hard out of your first cut. That's the first thing. The second tip we're going to give you is when you sprint five yards to that first cone, don't turn and run all the way. We're going to do a crossover run. So if this is my starting spot and I want to get down to that orange cone right there, instead of coming from here and turning and running, which is going to force me to make a complete 180 degree cut when I get there, I'm going to do a crossover run. So when I come out of here, I'm just going to cross over for a couple steps here, touch, and now I can turn and sprint all the way down to the far cone. That should help make your 5-10-5 a little bit faster. Make sure you get the best time you can when you go to your combine or camp or your testing period. Thanks for checking in with SBU. Be sure to check out our website at sportperformanceu.com.